Hey, in this video, I want to show you the process of working with an AutoCAD DWG file within your Revit project. All right. The first thing we have to do is head over to the Insert tab. Okay. Now there are two ways we can access a CAD file. Okay. That is either using the link mechanism or import mechanism. Now imports would embed the file directly into the Revit project with no connection to the original. So if you needed to update changes, you would need to remove the original version you imported and re-import the updated version. Compared to link, where a link will be maintained back to the original file, so in case of update, all you need to do is refresh the link and it will capture the latest changes. Generally speaking, linking is considered the best practice, so unless someone tells you otherwise, you should default to using links. Okay, But then, you can check with your card or beam manager to confirm what you should use in your firm. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating with link card. The button is right here. All right. The first thing I want to point out in this dialog is the file format that are supported by this dialog. So notice that there are several different card formats that are supported. Now, I'm going to leave it set to DWG, which is the AutoCAD file format. But you are welcome to explore others on your own later if you wish. Now, I'm going to select this AutoCAD floor plan. You can download this plan from the link which I will attach to the description. It is totally free of charge. Okay? So select the AutoCAD floor plan. Don't double click it. If you do, you are going to deprive yourself the opportunity of, you know, setting things up in this dialog. Okay? Just click on it once. Okay? There are three settings on this dialog that I want to direct your attention to. Over here on the right, we have the positioning, which is set to origin to internal origin. I'm going to leave that just the way it is. Okay. In the middle, we have colors, which is currently set to preserve. I'm going to also leave that just the way it is. And then finally, over here on the left, we have this current view only button. And for this example, I'm still going to leave it unchecked the way it is. So let's go ahead and click open. You will see the file appear here. On my screen, it comes in in these um, black lines for the walls and every other thing, okay? Except the windows, which are blue. And then the link is just a little bit of the center, like 48 millimeters on both X and Y axis, okay? So let's think about those settings I just pointed out to you in the dialogue. Starting with the positioning, which was origin to internal origin. Down at the bottom of the screen, there is a review hidden element button icon, okay? Go ahead and click that you are going to see these symbols appear. Those are indicating the Revit origins, okay? So this is the origin of the Revit file, and as you can see, that lines up with the origin of the AutoCAD file, which happened to be by the lower left-hand corner of the floor plan. So when we choose origin to internal origin, it just lines the two origins up. In a lot of cases, that would be appropriate way to link the file in order to get the proper alignment. Now, in some cases, it won't be, okay? So, if the file comes in and it is not in the right location, you can choose a different option in there. But I think defaulting to origin to origin is not a bad option in many cases. All right. Next, we have the colors. And I left it to preserve. And as you can see, it retained the color of the line exactly to what it is in AutoCAD. There are two other options in there, the invert and the black and white lines. More on those later, okay? Now let's just talk about the last thing which was the current view only settings. We left that unchecked and I'm going to open other views here and show you the result of that decision. Down here in the coordination rollout, double click the L1 working plan view to open that up, okay? You will notice that the file displays here as well. Furthermore, if I go to the default 3d view you can see the file shows here as well but then just because the file shows here in 3d doesn't mean it automatically became 3d geometry notice that it stayed flat okay it is just a bunch of 2d line words that is sitting flat on the ground so revit is just going to display whatever it is you import into it if it is 2d card file it will not automatically convert it to 3d geometry that is a different process and you have to do it yourself. It is really important that you understand that, okay? Now that we understand those three settings, what I want to do is let's undo everything, okay? We are going to repeat the process again, but this time we are going to change two of those settings, okay? So I'm going to go to insert, then I will click on link card, all right? Select the floor plan again. 
I'm still going to do origin to internal origin, but I'm going to change colors to black and white and then turn on the current view only and then click open. And now you will see the difference. Everything is still black, but then you notice that the windows are also black now too. And this is the result of turning on current view only. If I go to this other view or any other view for that matter, you will notice that the link file does not display there. It is only displaying on my working floor plan where I linked it. Okay? So the idea is, this is the ground floor plan. And when working with a multiple planned building, you will have to import other plans. Okay? So turning on current view only, we keep the ground floor DWG file on the ground floor level. Likewise, the first floor DWG file on the first floor level here in Revit. So you don't have to go around hiding files on views where you don't need them. All right? And also, it can be a good way to work if your intention for bringing the CAD file in is to use it as a basis for doing other design works, which is what I'm going to demonstrate to you now. So let's say that my designer worked in AutoCAD and I want to take their file and start creating Revit geometry from it. All right. Well, sadly, there's no button that is going to convert this CAD file into Revit geometry automatically. So that means I'm going to simply trace over this CAD file okay with revit walls and doors and other elements now i know that might seem like it is a lot but it is actually not that difficult let me show you so i'm going to go to the architecture tab all right you know i'm going to go to the wall two and i'm going to choose 225 mm wall if you don't have it you can create it it's actually very easy okay you can create it like this When I'm done creating the wall, I will move my mouse near one of these exterior walls here. Okay, you might need to zoom in to see this. But then it will sense where the center between these two parallel lines is. And you can just click to start drawing that wall. All right? And then notice that the wall aligns perfectly. Now stop a little bit before you get to the corner. I know, I know. I know it's a little counterintuitive. Okay? Just hit the escape button once. That will keep you in the wall command but break the chain all right the reason for doing that is this it is much easier to sense the center line of the next wall if you do it this way okay now i'm going to repeat the same basic process So I think this is enough for you to like understand, to get the idea of what we're doing. So I'm just going to quickly use the trim tool here. And I'm going to join the walls. Okay. And here too. I'm going to join the walls. And I'll use this one to link this to this. Okay. So places like this where we have doors, I'm just going to go over here and select doors. It doesn't really matter. Just any door. Important thing is just to pass the idea that you can now use door and put it where you need to be. You need it to be. In this working view, it is a little bit cluttered and kind of difficult to see what we've got. Okay, but notice that if we switch over to the L1 architecture, it looks perfectly fine. If we go to the 3D view, hold the shift key down and then up it, that looks perfectly fine as well. So the whole idea of working in working view. And doing current view only means that you can easily use that as the basis for building your model. But then in your other views, it is automatically not displaying those card files that makes it look cluttered, okay, and um, confusing. Now, the final thing I want you to see is the whole reason we chose link and not import card. And that was because we wanted to maintain the ability to refresh this card file, okay? So how do you do that? So let's say that the designer sent me an updated file, okay? How would I access that updated file? What you need to do is you go to the Manage tab and then go to the Manage link. You can find Manage links under the Manage Project panel, okay? Click on it. That will bring out this dialog. Now, there are lots of tabs in here. We are just going to head over to the card format, okay? Click on it. Now you can see the floor plan. Select it. 
Down at the bottom of the dialog, you see a number of buttons. I could reload this link, okay? I could unload this link if I wanted to. I could add another link and remove it if I didn't need it anymore, okay? Now, let's say the designer not only sent an update, but she also changed the name. Or somebody on your firm moved it to a different location. Then, instead of reload, you can choose to reload from. And that's what we are going to be doing here. And as you can see, I have an updated version of the floor plan in the same folder. I'm going to choose that and then click open and then click OK. And then you can see the effect of the change. Now, once again, notice that the Revit geometry has not responded to this. So you will need to make a selection of the appropriate element that was affected by the change and modify them. But then again, you can snap to CAD file, so it's easier for you to update your Revit geometry to match the updated CAD file. So that's an example of a workflow that allows a hybrid between professionals working in CAD and others that are working in Revit. So if you ever find yourself in that scenario, then you can use some version of that workflow as a basic procedure. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, link the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.